This is the second recording of the week. And it's the 19th of October, 996. Till the age of 10, Punjab, it was all I knew. It was, it was glorious. Childhood days, we were free. But then, things started to change. And there was almost like a tension. You could feel it. Even when you walked around the village, you could feel it. Education played such an important part back then. I feel like we've lost that now. News eventually came out that the Baal Saib had been attacked by our own army. And we were outraged. We couldn't believe it. We didn't know what to do, so we started trying to find out more and everything just seemed so controlled. No one was telling us anything and it reminded me of when I was reading about Nazi Germany. I never could have imagined that something so, so tragic could be happening in Punjab, our Punjab. In October that year, Indira Gandhi was assassinated. And I remember that day so vividly. Me and my younger sister were coming home from school and there was police cars and police vans everywhere, patrolling. And they were looking for something and we didn't know what. But I just remember grabbing my sister's hand and saying, you know, we'll be okay. My sister was 16 when I last saw her. I remember that white suit she wore to school that day. <laughs> Made the blood extra bright. I remember holding her after she fell. And I had her in my arms and I looked down at her. And she wanted to say something so... She asked if I could promise one thing. And I said anything. She said, don't cry. And instead, celebrate her story. Tell the world her story. And that's what I'm doing. So we're not getting any safety or any uh, protection from the police. This I want to stress. Uh, half of our property, we have lost it. Everything has been burnt. They came with bricks, they came with stones, they came with iron, iron rods, iron sheets. What can we do? Our shop is burnt, our house is burnt. 